Hey everybody, Wafshi here, and welcome back to Exceder Kings 2! Now, last episode, I decided I was gonna just, uh, ignore the whole, you know, Mongol invasion on my eastern flank, and instead try and go on the offensive and claim Pest from Poland, because they sort of took over Ungvar, the great blob that was taking over Hungary. So, I'm gonna Holy War them, which is all fine. It's still full of Catholic rulers, but they're not my religion, so if I believe if I just go to this, um... Vassalizes lords of her religion and takes all of her titles. So because they're not my religion, the Catholic, not Messalian, the true faith, I will then be able to give them to true Messalians, which is all fantastic. Now I am too over my domain limit. I wonder oh is oh because I built a barony, apparently. Cool. Goodbye, barony. Um and I'm one over that still. Is it all this land over here, Bihar? Balad, yes, yes, yes. Durbant, Agvank, Cartley. Belgorod. So yes, if I get rid of Durban or Cartley, or Agvank even, um, Agvank, Durban or Cartley. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's only like minus ten. There's enough issues going on otherwise. Now, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, just a quick reminder. The plan is that my daughter will inherit. She's the one that's um, married to my son. Because Miss Alien for the win. However, she's orthodox, so that won't do. Um, mm, that won't do at all. Either way, um, I will convert her when I take over. Uh, or my son dies, of course. Could have my son killed. Uh, yeah, might have to do that. But either way, she'll get converted to Miss Alien. You can get right out. Can't kill him. Bloody democracy. It's bullshit. Elena and Azov are voting for him. Uh, Vartanusha of Abkhazia is voting for him. I... Do I not count as two? Do I not have more than one duchy? Duchy of Kiev. And duchy of Agbania. Yeah, so I don't count as two. Fair enough. Um, Azov... And is it Itil? What, what's... what's what, who's voting for that one? Sorry, I just... Abkhazia. Elena and Azov. So, that's Abkhazia there. So, how about I revoke your title? Minus 20. Would, I'm, I'm going to annoy a lot of people if I stick, keep doing this. So, I'm just going to try and kill her anyway. Cool. Um, yeah. So, I'll kill her. Hopefully, that means that then someone else will inherit. I hoped that she would vote for another woman. But, apparently not. Yeah, because I murdered, I murdered her dad. So, she took over. So, I hoped that she would then, um, support her, 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 her gender against the fragile patriarchy. But no, apparently not. So, she'll have to die. Um, or, yeah, yeah, she'll die. Hopefully. And it's a successful Great War. Right, there we go. Cumania is all of a sudden the big bad. My kingdom is looking a lot smaller than it used to. All because of that bloody... Horrible reign where there was a rebellion and all of a sudden two bits of my land just decided to be free See Adaya over there as well. They just were allowed to be independent and they hadn't even won their war. It's really weird So that was annoying um, But obviously yeah now this guy controls uh, A decent amount of land. I'm gonna have to always be be wary of them now But hopefully that won't affect my number of levies too much, but I either way Not the end of the world. I can always wait till the Mongols get or putting attack someone else and then go on a holy war. Although, of course, I'm going to have horrible issues now because everyone's realised, oh, the Mongols aren't invading anymore. Let's let's be draw makers. So you have you are the Count of Perislavl. There, um, Perislavl is part of Duchy Perislavl. Is that? It is in two years. No, I'm not going to give him another vote. Well, a vote anyway. Or anyone a vote in this part of the world because isn't he the guy? Didn't he have a claim on Kiev? Yes, he had Kiev. Who did I take Kiev from? History. Yeah, him. That's why he hates me so much. Okay, makes sense. So that's fine. Um, you ever do not like me very much at all. I don't know what to do here because I mean, there's I've got a lot of rebels that I need to worry about, but I've got so much money I don't want to spend. I don't want to waste it. On crushing some rebellions. So I might give. Yes, I know what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna have to make a new duke. I'll make it my culture, my religion, adult. Uh, yes. Not already a ruler, and go with this guy. Hang on. No, I meant no, not a great house. There we go. That's better. So this guy is now gonna be the Count of Cartley. Uh, you are gonna be the Count of. That's not a place that I want to give away. Durbant, maybe? Agvank? Durbant. And who else is worth you? You can be Count of Agvank. So there we go. Yes, now I'm, I am two below my domain limit now, which is obviously not ideal. You need to generally be at the at the peak. Why are you married? What? Who are you? What? Count of Durbant, Count of Arrow. Why do you randomly control that other land? Ah oh, well, who who cares about a bit de jour uh, border go when we're like between friends? So you can have Agbania, which he's content, so he will like me even after all this. Um, and it did get rid of one of my issues. However, there's still some very powerful issues hanging around here with Duke of Kiev and Corson and Paraslavl. You are an issue, Kiev and Corson. Yeah, this this whole region here is troublemaker. Troublemaker Alley. Now, you have a strong claim on Pinsk. Do you want to claim that? Do you want to start building up your power so I can use that power to invade Byzantine, the Byzantine Empire, maybe? That'd be nice. But they won't. They'll just use it against me. Now, they're on 112%, so they could fire that at any time. I'm going to have to start giving away some gifts. I can't. It's already... I've done everything I can. You can be Seneschal. That's a big upgrade for you. Anyone else? No, not designated region. It's a bit irritating you can't spam... Uh, your honorary titles anymore. It used to be a case when you used to be able to, and you could make someone basically every single job in the world. Uh, but now they stopped that, obviously, because you're, you're meant to be able to manage your vassal's relations without giving them everything they want. And who, who doesn't enjoy a good civil war? I like a good civil war. The only one I can win with as little effort as possible when I've got other things on my mind. My niece! I don't want my niece! Don't make my niece the bloody heir! No! She's amazing! I wish she was, but she's not. A half-brother, niece... Your ma- What the hell? She's marrying her son. That's really weird. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Now, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna go with that. Um, yeah. So she needs to... Who's backing her? Agbania and... You could... What the... What? You are not... You're meant to be on my side. Invite to plot. No. I wish there was a way. Scheme... I wish Scheme could get someone to vote for your chosen heir. That would be a really nice feature. Because you're telling me... You're not telling me there's never a time when... You know, votes have been rigged. And voters have been pressured. Yeah, uh, it's, it's unlikely. Oh, he... Whoa, 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 whoa. He did... What did he do? Did he usurp it? Inherit it? No? Hang on. Oh, no, he created it. So what happened to... Uh, Great Moravia? I've got a, nice, they've got a horrible empire here. This is This is disgusting. What's he got in the way of troops? 15,000 troops. I'm going to need more troops. So I'm going to uh, back out. Disband all my troops. Raise them up again. And try and win the war. Because, oh, yes, have a rebellion, please. No, nope, that's against the wrong person. That's not who I wanted at all. Oh, they've, they've come back and they've decided to stop my sieges. So I'm going to actually... No, I'm not going to risk that. I have slightly more than them, but I'll be attacking... Oh, planes... Yeah, but it's not worth the risk. So I will raise up all my vassals, all my own levies. Group everyone. Group them there. You two, I suppose, might as well. Get you over here. And hopefully win this war, because this will be disappointing if I lose it. But at the end of the day, Hungary, which is now is, it's not Poland anymore, uh, is uh, quite the threat to the world. I, I kind of wish they would go for... Um, 
custom empires, but the AI's requirements for a custom empire are ridiculously huge. They should like 40,000 40, prestige. Like, if you are ambitious, and if you're not, it's 80,000. And it's something just crazy. Oh, they got four, five, whoa, that's a lot of, lot of people. They could win that. That would be cool. However, I'm no longer in a position to take them on. The Abbasids are still independent, which is still a surprise. I'd have thought the Shaven will have Khalif will subjugated them. Apparently not. You have a lot of troops. Who are you attacking? Hmm. I don't suppose I'll be able to get anyone married to... Oh, he's already married there. Inbred. My son is in fucking inbred. That's so irritating. Why? Although she will have a strong claim, which is good. Inherited from my husband. What? Oh, yes! God, my dad really did live a long time, didn't he? Um, yeah, him. No, wrong one. Getting confused. Uh, I don't know. My reputation's ruined. Okay, that's an issue. Vassal of Turk... Vassal of Turkestan. Cool. Why not? Get involved. How's my thing going? Four people! Ha <sighs> Right, I may need to, uh... Plot to kill her. I could, or, or imprison her. But she's so good. She's a good character. I don't want to do what my dad... My Was it my dad or my... Someone. Someone did. Yeah, my father. He started executing people and blinding them because they got in the way of progress. Which is, you know, I'm feeling it again. I am feeling a little bit tyrannical, but it led to all of that. So I've learnt my revolt. Cuban revolt, though. That's good. Go for that. Win, please. Um, You really don't like me because of the whole trying to murder thing. Can I, I can understand that, to be honest. What is this? What is going on here? Who is this? Who controls this? Why is that? Oh, it's controlled by Bavaria. I see. They control baronies in their old land. Makes sense. Alright, so once this army has appeared... I don't know what the marshal is. got the money. Why not? Then I will begin the invasion properly again. 21% war score against me because I haven't controlled any of their land. So I'm going to go up here first and reoccupy this because it is the lowest. So I should have the best bet of occupying a holding. And then I can start dealing with the actual armies themselves. Now, he's on 14,000 troops, so he does have slightly more than me. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to let the dog out. Now, um, what's going on? Oh, dearie. Good God. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people who dislike me right now. So I'm going to try and fix that. So I'll give you the Duchy of Perislavl, I think. Maybe I should, should I do that? I'm going to do that. Why not? There's a catamaran. So we can hear a bell chiming. That's, that's why. Now I'll give you the Duchy of Perislavl. Uh, and then I'll make Someone else, a new commander. Cool. So that's a couple gone, hopefully. Yeah. Um, she really does not like me. I'm trying to kill her anyway, so it's fine. Anyone else going to join this if I give them money? I'll give you money. A little bit more to the pot. But otherwise, fine. Alright, let's just hopefully try and keep these guys from rebelling. Because that would be... Oh my god, why?! Just give me a break. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm going to hire some mercs. Great company. Go. Go kill them. That's your job now. That's the thing. As long as I've got uh, mercs raised, that boosts my score. So now it's only 186,000 troops against me. 80%. So yeah. That's irritating. Well, that's fine. Um... I still think that I could crush them. But all this is still new administration, which is just going to delay my uh, my build-up for a while. 
good 15, 25 years there. Okay, she died now. This is good. Who took over? Her sibling. How long until it comes back to me? It's not going to come back to me. So that's fine. Um, so now that's dealt with a few issues right off the bat, which is great. Um, however, if, you, if people could vote for the person I want them to vote for, not her. I know she's a genius, but she's got a claim. Ah, she, it's because she's um, orthodox, I think. And he's orthodox now as well. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Hopefully, she will just convert randomly. That would be nice. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, allow the duel. Now, once this army's come back from crushing the rebels, then I'll have them join my invasion of Hungary. Hopefully, we can win this. That'd be nice. Okay, they've got a few thousand troops there. Heaves is plains, but I think there's a river crossing between there, there and... Is that a rouge? I can't tell. There's an army in the way. Oh, Duchy Paris level can now vote. Yay. Massalian Holy Wolf Pest. What? What? What What was that even to do with me? That had nothing to do with me. Uh, let's have a look. Where's that? Abouage. No, there is no river crossing. So I may not be able to survive this then. Because there's no terrain bonus on my side here. Who's commanding it? No one. Oh, good God. Thank God I caught that. That would have been bad. That would have been very, very bad. Oh, if, my, if that heir could die, that'd be great. You want to marry my marshal to him? Yeah, no. That's not going to happen because then I'll lose my marshal in the middle of a battle. Which is not a good way to uh, lose a thing. Okay, so we are winning. We're still winning. We're still winning. We've won. That's pretty great. So that's a good 16% war score. I'm going to carry on occupying this, which should bump up my war score quite a bit because they've got a lot against me because I'm not occupying anything. So hopefully, 16... Okay, 57% war score now. Cool. All right, where, where the fuck is this army going? Will you stop running away? Ass. Oh, will I catch them? I'll catch them. Okay, that's fine. So then I'll have them head over here. All the way. I'm just going to assume they wipe out the, the rebels. I, I hope they will. They will. Oh, no, they got away. I thought I was going to catch them, but that's fine. Start it. Leave them. They can't. They, I don't think they'll be able to take any land with that amount of troops, so it's not a big deal. Uh, yes, become become humble. That's that's good. I'm very okay that she's, she's orthodox. We'll have to deal with that. Now, what's the plan in terms of... Hmm... If I could kill my son, I might be able to get her. I can't kill my son because of the restrictions. God, just die from being blinded, please. Sorry, but you need to die because you're stopping my daughter from converting. Yeah, his strong is preventing his blindness from killing him. Which is irritating. Um, damn. Ah, well. What can you do? All I want to do, really, is if I can... Inherit is, inherit is her. I can then invade the Byzantine Empire with a strong claim. And that should be fine. It's just, the difficulty is getting uh, getting myself to inherit. Now, bloody hell. They're all going for her. Sorry. I, um, I'm going to do something a bit mean here. So, you are now in command of these 500 guys. And these 500 guys are going to go fight them. And you are going to lead the force. Right. Is she is she dead? Is she captured? No. Okay, cool. There's another few soldiers to sacrifice to her. On the altar of freedom. And the hope of her dying. Come on. Nope, she's still alive. So, okay, so let's send some more. And I, I'm very well aware that I might sacrifice so many troops I actually lose the war. Which is obviously not amazing, but still. I know what to do. 
There's, there are other ways around this. I'm going to make her my uh, my uh, spy master. So I'm going to send her to steal technology from the Byzantines, who have quite a high intrigue. She doesn't have the best intrigue, so she should get caught. And you are probably going to claim the Duchy of Azov. And you are Nestorian as well, so I'm going to try and imprison you. Okay, cool. Um, ransom? Not going to ransom. No point. I'm losing a fortune. So I need to win this war fast. Otherwise, I'm gonna, it's going to backfire when I'm uh, trying to fight the Byzantines. Now, what I could do... There are still pagans. I could send her to try and, uh, you know, convert them. But definitely just to get caught. That's definitely the reason I'll do it. But you never know. So I'm probably... I think I'm overrunning now because of the issues earlier. But I'm not sure. Oh, they won the, the Decadence Invasion. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Basically, I'm just going to rush whatever this holding is down and finish the war by the end of this episode, hopefully, if I get enough war score from it. Uh, Kingdom of Nubia is no longer considered part of the Empire of Abyssinia. Fair enough. Let's have a look. Wow, it has been a while, hasn't it? Arabian Empire is, is pretty crazy. Yeah, look at that. And randomly, Hispania controls, like... Yeah, Andalusia controls that part of the world. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.